Okay, so I reviewed Predator, so now I'm going to review Alien. Um, I have to say, I'm surprised. I actually like the same amount of things, like the number of things um, I liked. Like, there was 13 things I liked in Predator. There's also 13 things I liked in this. I'm actually curious to watch it again at some point, because um, this was a while ago when I did this review, um, where I wrote the review on Letterboxd, but I'm curious. I, I will watch it again at, at some point, and I'll probably, you know, add some more things I like about it. But at this point, this is what I liked. So the first thing I liked is the camera composition. The camera composition is really good throughout the film, like just really well framed, just really good shots. Like it's just, you know, Ridley Scott does a pretty good job at this in most of his movies, but I think, especially his older movies, I think stand out a lot in certain regards with this type of thing. Um, yeah, just some of the shots in space and just some of the shots inside the ship, it's just really good. But along with that, it's that great combo again, the lighting and color palette. This movie has a lot of white throughout the film, like a lot of just white settings, like inside the ship, it's got a lot of white interior, and it looks really nice. And along with that, I'd say like the production design flows in with that too, so it really helps the colour palette, and the lighting is also kind of a lot of bright light, you know, white throughout the scenes. But yeah, it looks really nice, like a really clean look, but it, it looks great. And it's, an, an, it's a great contrast with, you know, the, the alien in the film, and... Um, it does somewhat change throughout the film, like there's certain settings where they're more darker, and I think that's meant to amp up the tension, you know, it's not as safe now, and then like the white was a bit more like a safer setting, but then once shit starts to hit the fan, especially like in um, the part where, I think it's in the director's cut where the alien's like hanging down and attacks the dude and the cat runs away and everything, and that first dude gets attacked, was it the first dude? I think it was the first dude or the second guy, because then the chest bursts out and then the guy went in the room with all the water dripping then the alien gets him. Like, that scene was very dark looking, so it's meant to be like a contrast, you know, more tense. And and also, too, it hides the practical effects as well. But they're really impressive practical effects as well. That is the next thing I'll mention. So, yeah, practical effects are really good. Like, it, they don't overdo it, and it's, like, too obvious that it's, like, really practical looking. They, they kind of really hide it in the shadows and stuff, but it adds to the tension and just the, the atmosphere of the film that they're trying to go for. So yeah, I really love the practical effects, and there's barely any usage of CGI at all, really. So yeah, I really appreciate that they did that. Um, next thing, the creature design. The Xenomorph is something else. Like, it's so cool. Like, even the face hugger thing is just weird looking, but creepy. Creepy as hell. And then the actual Xenomorph does look kind of cool, but at the same time, I wouldn't want to meet that in the hallway, and it's chasing your ass. <laughs> like, this thing is, uh, yeah, it's it's... It's freaky looking, but cool at the same time. Like, it's really weird, but... I definitely would say in regards to... I think I said this in my Predator review, but I like the creature design more of the, the alien, because it's just so weird, but lanky, and the freaking mouth thing, I guess... Like, oh my god. It's such a cool creature design. Like, wow. Um, so the next thing is the... Well, I kind of already mentioned it, but the production design. Like, it just really flows in well. The colour palette and lighting... It all works really well together to make this really great visual looking film. Okay, so next thing. Oh, also, actually, before I go any further, the practical effects too. The stuff that they did with the android, oh my god. Like with the weird fucking, what were those things? Little orb things? I don't know what the hell you call them. Like those little white pus things or whatever. And the way it looks and everything when he's all pulled apart. And it's like, oh my god, the practical effects of that are really cool looking. Like, it's it's impressive how they did that. Um, see, that android shit was awesome. Alright, so next thing. Uh, the acting. Um, yeah, the acting is really good just around the board. Everyone, I think, brings their A-game. There's no actor here that's, like, underplaying. I'd probably say Sigourney Weaver's definitely the standout. But everyone in this is really good, I think. Okay, so next thing, music. The music one is another thing that adds to the atmosphere of the film. So along with the visuals and, you know, some of the dark scenes, it gives a sense of isolation, the music. It's it's used very minimal. Like, it's used very much in, in the very beginning of the film. It's like this, um, this very soft music, but it works really well. And it, um, it just really adds into it, adds into the setting and the isolation that they're trying to go for. So, yeah, really good music, I think. The next thing, um, the story. The story's pretty simple, you know, they just, they, they, um, I think they find a signal, and they go there, and then the fucking, <laughs> on this guy's face, and then it's like this whole dilemma of, you know, letting him on the ship, and all this and that, like, I really like that kind of character dynamic, 
uh, Sigourney Weaver's character has... Oh, what's her actual name? Isn't it Ripley in the film? Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, the character... That whole story dynamic and just things like that, it works really well. And it makes you... Gets you thinking, like, what would you do in that situation? Would you let him in or would you keep him out of the ship? Things like that. Um, but yeah, I really do think it's a solid story. So next thing... Um, Brutal and shocking moments. Oh boy, like that chest burster scene is, it's insane. Like, for real. Like, oh my god. Um, yeah, like, and it all seemed pretty practical, all that stuff too. Like, obviously they didn't cut a dude's chest open. Like, it's obviously just, <laughs> you know, fake. But it looks real, you know, it's very convincing. And, uh, and that's thanks to the acting too of that guy that did that bit. But yeah, just very brutal and shocking moments that really amps up you know, the tension in the scenes and what this creature is capable of. So, yeah, that they did a good job with that type of stuff. Next thing, um, build up. This movie takes its time. Gets you used to the characters and all that, and this, once again, kind of built into the story. The movie does not rush, really. It kind of takes its time, and then when shit does hit the fan, oh my gosh, things just really amp up. And it's so good in that regard. Like, the movie has a great flow to it. Even though it does take it, its time, once it does get to it, it's... It's non-stop from there. And yeah, I really like that they, they wind it up a bit. They wind up the tension a fair bit and then let it go. And yeah, it's it's great. You know, even the build-up I really love. Even though it does take its time, it pays off. Um, really sets up the world, the characters and all that stuff. So yeah, great build-up. Next thing, uh, the setting. So the setting, you know, it's very isolated. And once again, this is kind of adding to the build-up. There's no, like, big space station that you go to in a, another place where it's full of people. You're only with this crew for the whole film. And I think that setting really adds to the atmosphere, the tension, and um, all that type of stuff. Like, it really just pulls you in even more because it's a very small-scale story but can have catastrophic outcomes. You know, if this alien did get out, you know, and they didn't sort it out, this shit could really hit the fan, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, the... The setting is really effective, I think, um, at kind of really immersing you in it and caring for these characters and setting up some pretty good stakes as well. So, yeah, last but not least, the ending. The ending is, um, it's nice, you know, yeah, we, and, oh, the, and then that bit when you think it's over and the frickin' thing is, like, camouflaged in a ship, oh my god, spoiler alert, Duh. I mean, this is an old-ass movie, like, 1979, so, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, that false ending, you think, oh yeah, she's good, and then <laughs> puts its arm out, like, oh my gosh. But yeah, like, but the overall actual ending, when she fucking shoots it with the, the back of the, not really shoots it, but gets it with the jets of the thing, that was freaking awesome, that was pretty badass. But, uh, just the overall ending, and like, knowing that she's like, safe now, and with the cat, um, what's its cat's name? Jonesy? But yeah, it's, it's that cat's pretty awesome too. <laughs> but yeah, great ending. I think the, overall the movie is really good. I, I really enjoy the film. Um, I'm already thinking of actually other things. If I w did another listing of this film, I'd probably add another thing like rewatchability and probably something else to do with tension, um, perhaps even atmosphere. So yeah, like this is a review I did a while ago, so there's probably a bunch of things I'd, I'd add. Um, you know what, I'm going to say it now. Actually, so 13, I'm going to say atmosphere is another thing I like, tension, and rewatchability. So, 16 things I actually like about it. There you go. <laughs> so, if you watch to the end of this review, you're going to realize, oh, there's three bonus things. So, there you go. There's 16 things I like about this movie, <laughs> not 13. So, yeah, you know, as I'm reviewing this, I'm literally thinking of other things that made this movie good. So, it's a really solid film. I think it's, it's really great really uh, immersive because of the production design, practic the practical effects. You know, just a really effective film. Great filmmaking, a great example of filmmaking. And considering it came out in that time, it still looks good today. Like, a lot of it looks really solid, and that's because they committed to the production design and the practical effects. Yeah, that's what happens. You watch a lot of movies, like, like shit, the fucking, the remake of The Thing, I, I probably should more talk about this in a photo review of The Thing, which I will do now that I think about it, but like, the remake of The Thing already looks fake, like the CGI is fucking awful, but anyway, that's a, that's a talk for another day, <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this video of um, Alien, you know, if there's other things you like about the film where you just want to 
talk more about this film, I'd love to have a conversation in the comments below. So, um, yeah, share your thoughts in the comments, and uh, catch you next time.